Welcome back to Ixion. So when we last left off, we were in the middle of trying to get our power a little bit better. Um, struggling a little bit with that because, geez, we have seven power available. We could finish that off, kind of have that be done. What's our iron distribution looking like? Um, yeah, we're only asking for 10 in sector two. Let's ask for a little more than that so we can get this thing built in a reasonable amount of time. And then... We probably need to consolidate some of this. Let's take you off of food. And I think we're going to... Well, that one should probably be food. Uh. We'll put you on iron and then take you off of iron. So the food will go over here. The iron will go over here. It's only going to leave us with one storage for food, but I think we'll figure it out. We're going to have to get this ice situation worked out here soon. Getting the stockpiles upgraded might be nice. I originally put this in because I wanted to save every possible amount, but with this and the new panel going in, I don't think we need to save two, though long term, obviously, we want to save it from the cell housing. But I think we need to grind through and get this computer op optimization done. That's going to take a lot, but I think it's worth it. Upgrading to five science, no, five science every three cycles, as opposed to five science every five cycles. It's not a lot, but it's a lot long term. Yeah, we need to get the power going so we can turn our medical center on. That's going to be huge. And then if I go outside, we're about 50% away from getting our new solar panels in place, which is going to give us a huge chunk. 54 power. So that's nice. We've got a poly storage over here, so we'll let this one be the point of demarcation for our popsicles. It would be nice to turn this on, but once we get the power, we'll be ready to defrost people 
rather rapidly. We probably need another storage in here. Can I move these people to this infirmary? Is that something I'm allowed to do if I turn this off? Or will they just all die? It would be nice to use this space for something. It would probably end up being a storage area. Just don't have the room. Okay, I think we're ready to proceed. It's very interesting. The Etamanenki, which is the ship that we were previously tracking, all this wreckage across this whole solar system is just that one ship. So docking bays, habitation. Looking at the reactor as an option. Hoping for some power or some... Maybe some science. Oh yeah, and these guys, they're four levels of happy. So we can take back and go to normal food. Now there are three levels of happy. And then I want to try to get more trash into sector two. A probe has completed its scan. So I'm going to say that this one is half. We're going to keep half of what it this sector needs for this machine on site. I have no idea how I'm going to navigate all this storm. Integrity below 50%. Yep, yep, yep. We're putting those solar panels in. An accident has occurred in the Tycoon. Administrator, you can implement a new policy. A science ship has arrived at its destination. Our sensors have located the section of the Etamanenki drifting in space. For first reports indicate this wreckage was once the ship's engine room and reactors. 
We have arrived at the site. Only two of the Etemanenki's massive reactors remain. Initial reconnaissance revealed three places of interest. The thrusters, the engine room, and the engine supervision area. Investigate the engine supervision area to learn more about the superstructure's final moments. Let's go bottom up. A probe has been lost due to space weather. Oh, wow. Our panels are in. A new shooter. A new request awaits your attention. This takes 40 power. Can we afford it people wise? Pledge to turn on the pause for 30 days. Yeah, I was planning to do that as soon as we got the power for it. We have the power for it. So I'll do it just because you asked. Wink. We went out of our way to build that stuff and we used all of the power basically instantly. A probe has completed its scan. A science ship team has completed a task. I got to think about this. We upgraded our panels and we used all of the power that they provided us. Basically the very next step was <laughs> use all power. Mostly because of this medical center. Ooh, and it's being used. One medical center locally might make sense. I don't think we need two. Here we've got three. None of them are on.
Uh, I think I've got to go back to the original plan. Fifty science. New event, pirate. All right, I guess we got to read this stuff. The engine supervisionary was mainly occupied by those of rank. Some had time to enter cryopods before the apparent depressurization of the area. Analysis of the remaining computer infrastructure indicates their directives were merciless towards engine room workers. They treated them as expendable outcasts. There are traces throughout the supervisory district of hacking attempts. All ship computers dedicated to the engines and reactors were compromised, preventing the Etimanaki from maneuvering and causing power failures throughout the superstructure. The Oppenheimer's team has managed to extract remnants of the computer protocols that were used to do this. These fragments of code point to an author, the BMS. These guys again. The Black Market Society. Relevant data has been sent to the Tycoon Lab for more detailed analysis. New event, Pirate. Can I collect that science before we investigate anything else? Well, that gave us a little bit of power. Inspect the engine room. Bioelectricity, power cost reduced by two. We have so many cell housings. And then let's see if we can get back into the tech lab. What I'd want to do is, ooh, it's a lot. Self-cleaning systems reduce the destruction during dangerous weather. We're probably going to need this. I mean, half this system is dangerous weather. But let's push through on some of this.
We now have data to analyze the Paranesi hacking protocols. The associated research project can be launched in the tech lab. This should allow us to set up a computer protection system to reduce the impact of any digital attacks. Looks like we're going to war with the Paranesi. Let's stick with the plan for now. A science ship team has completed a task. Nice. The Etimaninki's engines were not supported by a PA or even basic AI. Instead, crew members were constantly monitoring, adjusting, and repairing the engines and thrusters. Their living conditions were extremely precarious. As it would seem, many of them were either prisoners or rejects from the population on board the Etimaneki. Traces of writings were found within some of the dormitory cells referring to genetic conatus? Whew. There are records of several serious breakdowns before the final explosion. Crew members would work waist deep in coolant, some dying while performing their tasks within the toxic substance. Those who refused were executed by their supervisors. Now let's get that good science. Administrator, you can implement a new policy. Oh, here we go. Administrator, the animosity between former crew members of the Protagoras and Etamanenki is becoming a problem. Accommodating survivors from both crews together in Tycoon threatens the stability of the station. Claim protocols recommend temporary separation till tensions ease. Initiate population transfer and individuals will be sorted automatically using the DLS data. A hundred crew members will be moved from sector three to sector six. From three to six. Hmm. Sure. Let's see what we have in six. And what do we have in three?
I'd have to move a hundred non-workers. I can't move a hundred workers. From three to six. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Actually, I think I'm going to pop up my food sector. Now that these guys aren't getting bonus rations, we need extra trash, more waste. Population transfer complete. Okay, so we're going to send the new non-workers to sector three. Okay. And then we're gonna... I don't wanna say we're gonna fill it all the way up, but we're definitely gonna add some people here. We could move 300 people. Ooh, but we got the feeding issue. Serves up to 600 crew. So 1,200 is our max. Food wise. And 1,100 is our max. Housing wise. So 1,134 wins. Investigate the thrusters. Population sensor complete.
So one thing, believe it or not, that I might want to investigate is mess hall technology. Accommodate 40% more crew members per meal. We fully unlock cell housing, so that's good. These things, our stability is pretty good right now, so I don't think we need to deal with that. Being able to add another algae farm, that actually is quite tempting. Hmm. More efficient use of our water. Either through water treatment or fusion station is going to be key here soon. I'm going to take that so we can add some more algae farms. We actually have the room here. Maybe we should start that now. Let's get rid of these roads. Oh, can't do it yet. I can put this one in place. The Antimaneki seem capable of achieving two different types of propulsion. The intrasystem mode of propulsion has many similarities to Dolos's EKP. Cross-referencing the mission data reveals a number of matches to the encounter of the near wait to the encounter near Saturn during the Tycoon's initial phase. Their intersystem propulsion covers many of the basic operations of the Vol engine. Our team has noted the reigns of numerous accredi areas. Access to and a knowledge of the propulsion mode seems to have been strictly regulated. The two reactors were damaged at the same time as the larger superstructure, and our analysis has revealed traces of gluon particles. Whoa! That's uncomfortable. That storm got real close. If I had known that, I probably would have waited a little bit. Oh, I 
deleted and never rebuilt the Colony Training Center. arrived at its destination. An accident has occurred in the Tycoon. I'm gonna set up a bunch of these storage facilities as food distribution centers. P42 is eligible for colonial testing. Data collection will help us shape future Dolus initiatives. We have landed on P42. The planet is bathed in toxic yellow haze, which severely reduces visibility. First measurements have recorded trace amounts of oxygen in the planet's atmosphere. We've also noticed the presence of a few species of bacteria. Cyanide oceans. I think we're always going to go advanced. So let's do it. Needs food and alloy. Sector six definitely has the alloy. Our hull integrity is actually doing okay. And we are maxed on carbons.
Another round of solar panels probably makes sense. Population sensor complete. A probe has completed its scan. We need to train another round of colonists. All right. I've never had so much trouble, so much worry, so much concern, so much deep thought about which technology I should pick in any video game. I guess given the storm looks like it's going to overtake us, it might make sense to research destruction chance during dangerous weather conditions reduced by 50%. And then let's keep creeping through the tech lab. This food sector is shaping up nicely. Only problem is we've got too much water.
probe has completed its scale. All right, so we're going to move this iron. I put this new iron storage in to help get these things off this flight deck so we can use these flight decks for what we really want to use them for, which is the colonial testing. This water is actually in this machine. Can I? I'm worried now that I can't delete this. I want to delete this. An accident has occurred in the typhoon. Surely they wouldn't be so rude as to have me also delete that water. Dropping the max cap, I I would understand. Caution. Hull integrity below 50%. Okay. We're putting in those new solar panels. It's all normal. Amazing that they show the wreckage. They show the floating bodies. They really commit to this. That's a big spaceship. Wow.
Oh, we only got 10 colonists. Interesting. Well, we've at least started the process. Population sensor complete. 3.4 cycles. I think I can get rid of these crops. Food variety does not matter. At least I haven't seen it matter. It's all reduced down to food. It's not like I can see algae or mushroom or crop. All I see is food and all I see is meals. So I don't think it matters if we have variety. They might yell at me later. maxed out on carbon.
The Exo Fighting Dome got disabled due to injuries. Oh wow, happiness does drop while it's in while it's disabled. Good to know. Good to know. Population transfer complete. I'm gonna authorize the storage of food in sector three. An accident has occurred in the typhoon. So we can have some backup. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move. going to get this colonial situation resolved all the resources on planet as quickly as possible by moving all the resources near the planet as opposed to making this trip back and forth even though i have a fleet an absolute fleet of transport vehicles i can only use one at a time for missions drop off a probe while we're in flight see if there's any good stuff around here a probe has completed its scan
just picked up 30 food. Yeah, so it'll be able to knock us out much faster now. It's a good one, too. Our ice levels are actually getting kind of low. Let's consider water treatment. A probe has completed its scan. Accident has occurred in the tycoon. of the ships not set to collect ice. Uh -huh. Establish a advanced cut. <laughs> Establish advanced colony infrastructure. Oh, it's just doing it. I don't have to tell it to do it. You know, we've got plenty of carbon. Are we running full blast on our...
We have the cryopod storage. We're going to change that over to poly storage so we can keep making poly. A science ship team has completed a task. Sector one needs a lot more polys on hand. Two hundred forty seven polys, six electronics. We definitely have the electronics, and we can grind out the polys. Temporary test colony, colony has now been established. The colonists will periodically transmit reports on their progress. These will provide valuable field data. Cool building. I'm extremely annoyed that that mining crew was lost.
get the iron off this dock. Some of the stuff we couldn't access before without being in the storm, we can now access. That's telling me something. How do you have an accident on a mushroom wall? We'll set this one to keep one meal in storage, but other than that, we need to get this stuff processed. Ooh, we are running out of ice. Water treatment center, perfect timing. Perfect timing. So base, this is six wastes for nine food. Oh, it's already accounted for. Oh, no, no, no. Since we're in a recycling zone, we're getting 12 food. An accident has occurred in the tycoon. So we could go with water treatment which we've already done and back that up with permanent moisture 
production speed increase. So this is just going to consume more trash. All right, let's call it right there. I think we're in a pretty good spot. Um, we're getting the science from here, which it's not a lot. So we do need to move. I'm trying to decide if we should move all the way down here. Collect the stuff in this area. Maybe send out a probe or two. We probably need more storage of poly in this sector. We're capped. We're basically cap locked. We'll finish the panels and then we'll call it. One hundred power. Yeah, we're gonna need the new panels to even put this in. Okay, the panels are in. We have the extra power now. Let's call it right there. I probably should move this. This is going to be hard to move it. This industrial zone doesn't have a ton of space for people. I guess technically it doesn't need a ton of space. We probably need to get non-workers and colonists out of here, though, and reserve it exclusively for workers. We also need to consider upping our food distribution capabilities. Let's put that on the list. Can accommodate 40% more crew members each meal. Yes. That'll allow us to make more food. Because <laughs> we'll be able to put more people into this zone. Though, I guess we are capped by... Housing now. Hmm. That's going to be a problem. An accident has occurred in the typhoon. People are pretty happy here, and we can always turn on extra food. So maybe I'll put another house in here at some point. But let's deal with all that in the next episode. We are almost out of ice. 
I am noticing that. Thanks for hanging out. I do appreciate it. We'll see you next time. <laughs>